Animation in ReadyMag isn't just about adding movement, it's also about crafting amazing interactive experiences. In this video, we'll show you step-by-step -step how to create some fun animations in ReadyMag. Now let's explore some neat animations you can create for your websites. If you want the text to appear when hovering over an image, simply add a text widget on top of your image. To quickly and easily adjust the text, you can use margins. Highlight the text and drag the appearing handle to set a fixed margin from the edge of the widget. You can set margins from any side. By using margins, we match the size of the text block to the image so that the image triggers when the cursor hovers over any part of the image. Also set the fixed width and height for your text widget to match the image size. Then click on Edit and go to Advanced Typography in the widget controls. Set a box color and its opacity, but this step is optional. Now let's make it pop. Bring that text to life by animating it. Set up a hover animation and adjust its opacity from 0 to 100. When you hover over the image, your text will magically appear like that. You can also add an image that will appear on hover instead of a text. Start by layering the second image on top of the existing one, then give the new image a hover animation. Setting the opacity from 0 to 100. Let's also change the animation speed a little. Initially, the second image is invisible, but when you hover over it, it smoothly appears on top of the first one. Want the same eye-catching floating effect? Here's what you need to do. To start, let's increase the page length. Increasing the page length provides enough space for all the animations and elements to move smoothly into view. Select the first element you want to show, move it just out of sight, then select the scroll animation, move it up into view onto your screen, play around with the setting until it sits just the way you want it to by consistently previewing your effect. Ensure the animation ends where you want it to. If you don't want your elements to scroll up endlessly, you need to pin them all in place on your screen. Repeat this process for your next element, starting a little lower down on the page and selecting delay. This ensures your second scroll animation starts after the first one. Now imagine you've got a checklist and you want to tick items off as you go along. You'll need a button that lets you switch between both states of your bullet points. So first, create your unchecked bullet point by making a shape in the form of a circle, adding borders, setting the fill to transparent, and adjusting the size. Then duplicate it and place the check version on top. Select your check version, whatever it may look like, and add a click animation, setting the opacity from 0 to 100 with no delay. Now your check button is there but invisible and only appears once you've clicked on it. We also frequently get asked how to create a horizontal scrolling section within a vertical page. Don't forget to use Command plus and minus on Mac or Control plus and minus on Windows to zoom your workspace in or out. Also enable guides to see the workspace boundaries. Then insert a long blank section between your vertical content, ensuring it covers the necessary width. Then select the content that will be animated and set its starting point outside the visible area and pin it to the page for easier management. Apply scrolling animation and then the move effect to enable horizontal scrolling. Fine tune the scrolling behavior by adjusting the delay as needed. We set a large delay because the logo should start animating only after scrolling 2,200 pixels from the top of the page. This ensures it begins moving at the right point. Next, set the final point for the object outside the visible area. You can also make the animation even more attractive by adding additional effects, such as rotations. Thank you. 
See how each letter bounces in a wave-like motion? This adds a playful and dynamic touch to your text. To do that, you need to create each letter as a separate text widget so you can apply the animation to each letter individually. Then add a load animation with the move effect. Set the animation duration and specify the height at which the letter should bounce. And then add the loop effect for continuous movement. Next, add another step to set how long the letter stays in the air. For the third step, add a six second delay before the letter bounces again. Copy the animation settings and apply them to all letters following the same principle. Don't forget to add a delay for each letter's bounce to create that wave-like effect. Check out this smooth interactive animation. Watch as the windows gracefully move and disappear with a click. Isn't it awesome? Select the widget to which you want to add animation, choose load with the move effect, and set the parameters. Don't forget to add the loop effect to cycle the animation. Next, choose the click animation type with the opacity effect. Set the parameters so that opacity animates from 100 to 0 after a click. It's also important to add a trigger that will close the window when clicked. For the trigger, select the X icon. It's important to note that we have several layers, so the animation settings need to be applied to all of them. Let's see what we've got. Here, see how images smoothly appear on Hover? This simple yet elegant effect adds a touch of sophistication to your page. First, select the widget and apply a Hover animation with the opacity effect from 0 to 100. Next, add another step with opacity set to 0 and a delay of 4 seconds. This ensures the widget remains visible for a while after hovering. Apply the same settings to the other widgets as well. Let's take a look at this amazing effect now. Check out how the circles fill up smoothly as you scroll down. In this case, we have a prepared image as the top layer with two shapes underneath that needed animation. Select a shape and add a scroll animation with the move effect. Next, calculate the position to which the shape should move and its speed. Repeat the same steps for the second shape. Note that we added a white rectangle shape on the left to cover the green stripes where they should not be visible. And it's done. Now we have an eye-catching animation. Here, watch how the photos dynamically change size as you scroll. To create this effect, we need to apply animations to each photo. One will enlarge and the other will shrink. Let's start with the first photo. Add a scroll animation with the move effect. Here we set the start point to center to ensure the animation begins when the photo is clearly visible on the screen. Adjust the animation speed and movement direction. Then add a scale effect to make the photo enlarge as you scroll. For the second photo, apply the same animation and effects but with the opposite settings so the photo moves and shrinks. Don't worry if it doesn't work perfectly the first time, you can always adjust and improve. Great, we did it! looks fantastic. Here, watch how layers smoothly move to create an accordion effect when hovered over. We have prearranged several duplicate layers one after the other. Now select the top layer and add a hover animation with the move effect. Adjust the speed and tweak the movement values according to your needs. For instance, we're aiming for an accordion effect. To quickly transfer animation settings to other elements, click Copy All Settings. When working with many elements, it's most convenient to select the desired layer through the Layers tab. 
apply the same animation to all layers, but slightly adjust the movement parameters for each. The final touch is adding a trigger. Create a rectangular shape, set its opacity to 0% so that the trigger is invisible but still functional, and adjust its size to match the layers. This ensures the animation plays when hovering over the title. Then go to the animation settings for each layer and add the created shape as the trigger. If you need to quickly add cool animations to your website, you can always choose something from our collection of presets. Click on the plus icon Presets and select Animated Widgets. Here you will find a wide variety of ready-made widgets that you can adapt to your needs. Let's choose Infinite Running Line. The preset is fully customizable. You can change the size, add and replace elements, work with colors, really anything you need. Don't forget to use Command plus and minus on Mac or Control plus and minus on Windows to zoom your workspace in or out. If you change the text in a preset, adjust the move parameter to ensure a seamless infinite animation by aligning the transparent and solid purple lines. In this specific example, after 8 seconds, the animation won't restart or abruptly stop, but will continue from the same point, creating an uninterrupted effect. Open Preview. Now you have a looped infinite animation for your text. You can also save your presets and reuse them across your websites. Global presets are available on our team plans, while individual plans allow you to save presets within one project. To apply a saved custom preset, open the Presets menu and select Saved. In the Global tab, you'll be able to choose the preset you need. And voila! Find more tutorials and tips at readymag.com learn.